and it's nothing serious that and she goes into what about ism and it's as though they just feel that you know this is like every other family in the United States there's always one person with a problem well I think it's correct that most families have someone who is an addict in their families but obviously the Bidens are an exceptional family. They're exceptional for what they've achieved. They're exceptional for what they're worth. And the guy's the president of the United States of America. There are other powerful families that have a lot of family turmoil and where kids are trading on their father's names. And that's very, very common. And I don't, you know, to the what about is in front, I'm sure that Claire McCaskill, when she was talking about that, mentioned the Trumps and things that the Trump kids have gotten because their last name is Trump. I don't want to minimize what the connection to Joe Biden from Hunter might be until we know exactly, until everything is out there. But the Republicans are doing themselves no favors. And I think that's what the Morning Joe crew is reacting to by going on TV incessantly and talking about it. Put your head down and do the work. I'll bring up the interview again, Jim Comer, on with the Fox and Friends host a couple weeks ago, talking about everything that they've got. And finally, uh, I think it was Brian said, well, what do you got? And it was then a ton of what about is from, you know, well, this could lead to this. And if this and if that the time has come to move past, if if you want to lead news cycles with this, but if you want to go about and do your job in private and not go on national TV all the time and boast about what you have when you definitively have nothing at this moment but, but to connect you, Hunter Biden's business dealings to his father personally profiting. But would you not agree?